In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how you might go about creating, say, a licorice twisting around or something twisting. Twisting is not quite the same as just an object rotating in place on, a, on an axis. Okay, so let me look at the quick animation. And you'll see, if you look carefully, this pe these pieces are spinning up here and that's spinning down there. But it's, it's kind of like, you know, a yoga type twist or something like that. All right, so it's an easy setup and I'll show you how. So basically all I have here in the scene is a simple object here, kind of an extended cube, and I have a small armature placed into it, and I have, I'm using auto, no, I'm not even, I don't even have any IK set up on it, and there's no keyframes, no anything like that. So, but if I grab this bone here, and I just move it, and I'll just straighten it right back out. So you can see it's just a regular cube in the scene like that, right? No keyframes though, if I grab this, let's leave this mode here. Whoops. Just go into object mode and I'll grab the object. You can see there's no keyframes set up on the animation. So in order to do it, what you have to do is, uh, well, I'll go back into the bone mode for a second, grab that bone. I'll just move it, twist it a little bit this time. All right, and then what I'll do is I'm just going to select that for a moment just so I can make sure my cursor is at that location. Cursor is selected. Then I'm going to put a circle in the scene, a uh, curved circle like that. And maybe move it down a little bit like this. Now, the, this object is parented to the armature, as you've seen from other lessons, in order to make the armature affect that. But now what we're going to do, we're going to parent the armature to the circle. And instead of just parenting it directly, we're just going to follow the path like that. All right. And just by virtue of doing that, that's all I'm doing. So that I press Alt A and it's following. It's an animation around the path. If you go look at down here, it will animate over the course of 100 frames like this. If I wanted to say move it up to, you know, 180 frames to make the twisting go a little bit slowly, I have to go up here and change this to 180 as well. All right, so now it'll go around the circles slower than that. So then you get all kinds of effects because the twisting effect's pretty interesting, right? Yeah. And then let's see, we can go back in here and grab this armature, go back into edit mode like this, and now I can just press G. This is the beauty of Blender. You know, in real time, I can just change that. Yeah. It, they're, it's a really powerful system. They did just a great job when they converted this over to 2.5 and above. It's all multi, it's all threaded, so you know you start one thing up and you can continue working on other things. It's very very nice. All right, well that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next lesson.